Hey guys, Sibs on Tate here, and on this episode of Safe Place, we're going to be playing some Kirby's Air Ride. It's a game for the GameCube that I really love, and it's really fun to play. And the main mode, well, there's three major modes in this game, but they all... Well, Top Ride doesn't overlap the City Trial, but Air Ride is basically just, you race a bunch of uh, stars, and they have different attributes and stuff around against three other people. So it's like a Mario Kart type racing game a little bit, but it has like Kirby abilities and stuff, as you can see by that like little preview down there. There's Top Ride, which is another racing game, but it's a uh, uh, top-down, uh, it's a top ride type of thing, it's a top-down, uh racing game on like smaller courses with like seven laps, whereas Air Ride is like three laps. And then City Trial, I won't explain it, I'll actually play this, because this is by far my favorite mode in this game. So basically, and you can pick your color of Kirby, which is kind of cool. Basically, everyone starts out with the same regular starship, and you're you're racing around for any amount of time between 3 and 7 minutes to try to collect power-ups and abilities, and you can screw with your other uh, opponents, and see that little bar on the left, that's uh, like your health. And you can screw with your opponents the e oh, and you can get negative power-ups too. You can screw with your opponents and uh, break their machines, and then they have to find new ones. And you can walk around trying to get new machines. I just really enjoy this game, especially because uh, if you played Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you might know uh, the like legendary machines. It's that thing when you collect the three parts in Brawl, where you just like where it like zooms out and you shoot people on the screen. That actually came from this game or an earlier Kirby game. I wouldn't know. And see your opponents can take your items too and I will go on the attack soon but something about just collecting all these items makes you do that so like there, there's different stats and do I have the yeah it tells you you have to unlock this and there's like a there's like a huge checklist probably like a I'd probably say like a chessboard size checklist like I think it's 8 by 8 so that's like 64 things to do maybe it's I think it might be like 16 by 16 it's a lot of things to do and there's different things you can do while you're in the thing. While you, you can do things while you're in the thing. And you get the little mini map down below to find where your opponents are. And there's just so much you can do. There's all these different areas. There's the different colored blocks. Uh, blue is usually... Blue is power-ups and sometimes, like, uh, abilities. Red is, like, either abilities or pieces of the secret machines. And, whoa, what's with all the flight? And also the... Every every time you're trying to get points for a different game, like sometimes it will be uh, like a game where you have to see who can fly the farthest, or something where you all fight each other to the death. It's really cool, cause and it'll give you like little hints down below. Ah, shut up! It'll give you little hints down below, like while you're playing the game of what each thing is. Like it'll say, oh, this thing's gonna involve you flying everywhere. So then in that case you would probably want to get some uh minus weights and then you want to get some uh flyings. So you can either just grab everything or be really strategic about it. And also you'll see there's uh I think there's like twenty ish different uh types of uh what am I thinking of? Twenty different types of uh star machines and I just got hit by someone. See, stadium predictors. I see numbers on the side of the machine. I think that means something to do with, uh, uh, racing. So I should probably get some speeds and stuff. And also, there's, like, different events you can do on that checklist thing around the city. Like, if you break all of those, uh, if you break all those metal thingies, you get that. I forget what you unlock for it. And also, like, you can unlock, oh, great. And that happens sometimes when you step on new machines. And I, I really like this, like, Batmobile thing. I really don't like that thing, because each, each uh, machine, and also, like, cutting down all those trees is ability, and that you can go to all these different places. And there's also, like, set places where the piece of the hidden machine will pop up. It, it, it's, it's not a TM, it's an HM. Like, this is exactly, this is where one of this is. And from playing as a child, I didn't look any of this stuff up. I just, like, got a feel for it in my head, like, where the stuff is. So usually there's some up here, there's some on the beach, there's some in the forest underground but I just really enjoy this game and I like how each uh each one of these oh my god bomb ah, crap there goes half my HP yeah they can use a giant explosive things like that but that hurts themselves too there each of the machines has their own like advantages and disadvantages I really wish I could get the secret machine basically the secret machine is really hard to put together because you have to find three all three parts in the time limit it's it's really hard to do unless you get really lucky and all the parts appear in like places you check because you only have a set amount of time to get ready and usually there's a sometimes a piece down here yeah you can't really count on a piece to be somewhere and also if your HP on your uh uh whatchamacallit 
your uh, air ride machine goes down to zero, then you uh, it breaks, and then you just have to walk around and find a new one, which gets really annoying. And also, say you get off your machine to pick up another one, and some guy comes by and wrecks that machine, you still gotta walk around. Restore, restoration, air. Re I can't say the word restore. Res you know what I mean? Rest rest it, it, it's healing, okay? A healing area is peeled. Oh, I want to use that bomb. Bombs are amazing. And so much glide. I love glide. It just looks cool. Ooh, oh, no. Time. I wanted the time bomb. Uh, and yeah, machines, as you saw that little gas trial going up, machines will disappear throughout the game. They, they don't stay there forever. So you want to be fast if you see a machine on the map you want. And also items just fall right out of the sky. Be red. Be red. Come on. Be a piece. Ah. The link ability is link ability is one of like the best abilities because you just walk up to people and it automatically hits them. You don't even have to hit any buttons, like this. Hello, friend. Ah, oh, great. And yeah, he they take down your stat boost sometimes if you get near them. Hey, it's the great tree dude. And wow, my health is low. This is not gonna end up good for me. And if you end up the around without any uh, if you're not on anything, then you end up with the default vehicle and you usually lose unless you have like ridiculous stat boost. And oh yeah, that's what happens when you drop one of those bombs. Come on. And also with the, uh, Link ability, he automatically breaks blocks for you, you don't have to run into them, which is nice. Uh, come on, I want to get the secret machine. Sometimes it appears, oh, my, the best ability, because it's like Link, but, ah, uh, with the singing ability, it puts it, uh, in the general vicinity of everyone, everyone gets hurt. And all boxes contain the state items. Yeah, of little events like this will happen during the game, which range from this, uh, Items that look like the items, but they actually drop your stats. Giant birds falling out of the sky. You name it. It's just so random. Oh, be a piece. Oh, no. It's one of the spinny boxes. At least it's food. I kind of need that. Yeah, you can restore your health and stuff. Also, and I should probably show this off even though I really don't use it. You can use the rail lines to get around the city really fast. It's a lot of fun. This game is also 200 times more fun. If you can get uh, four people to play this, even though it's like really small screens, unless you have like super large TV, it's amazing to play with friends. It's just so enjoyable. Oh, crap. I actually want to go check that red box. Actually, I should check this one over here and then check that. That, how to get up there, you go on the little waterfall thing. It, this is one of those games where you just like, you get a feel for it over time. And it, it's so much fun. Come on, be a piece of the hand. Wait, I lost my piece of the hidden machine? When did I miss this? Oh, great. Is one of the Jackasses have it? Probably. Oh, I'm not gonna get the hidden machine now. That makes me sad. And why do I keep... I, I There's probably a better name for it. There's. It's called, like, Hydra and Dragoon are the two names of it. But I can't think of, like, what... Oh, there's the restoration area. So, you can just heal yourself back up by sitting there. But that's really... You're kidding me! I have two pieces, but I don't have the last one because some jackass has it. Uh, Let's find them and beat them up. No! I want to get the hidden machine! Or just give me, random box, give me the hidden machine. Or is it just lying somewhere on the ground? That would be really painful. Oh, I could have got it. That's really disappointing. Where's the hidden machine? Show me. Oh. So even if you don't have and that little sound right there, holy, I got 12 glide. I was wondering why I was flying so well. And so once the round ends, even if you don't have the stat thing unlocked, it shows you how everyone did. And it shows you their machines and stuff and how they did. And target flight. Target flight, you gotta hit the points, and whoever gets the highest amount of points wins. And you can take as long as you want. This one is good for like gliding machines and stuff. But I, it, it's just such a, it's it's such a fun game because it's so random. And I, I have something about like having large amounts of things. Oh, look at that, perfect. Having a uh, high amounts of things, like collecting stuff. I don't know, like something about that and. Like, finishing the game and seeing those numbers. Something about just, like, seeing high numbers in collections and stuff. I don't know. Something about that I just enjoy. And I just said something about that, like, a million times. I'm just weird. Frack! Oh, cool. Thank God for my glider. Oh, crap. Well, I still think I won because I got that 100 first. But I completely screwed up. I went right down there. Yeah, there we go. And how long? Oh, we haven't been recording for that long. That was only seven minute game. And what did we unlock? Get 10 or more glide patches. I think actually when I was going back to play this game a while ago, I never, uh, I was always trying to get that and never could. Probably because I was playing on 5 minute games, that would have made more sense. And also you can set, like, if you want a specific type of game to show up, you can do that. And you can turn events off, which is, that's not fun. I've never turned game time to slow, but that just sounds boring. Uh, let's try this again. And also you can see no Kirby's will be the same two colors. And you have to unlock, uh, uh some other colors. I'll be yellow this time.
And you have to, there's some of the things you can do on lock more colors and stuff. It's just a really, it's a lot of collectibles and it's a lot of fun. And I like seeing that whole thing filled up. Like the same reason I like getting all the stat boosts and stuff. It's just something inside of me. Do you, does anyone else know what I'm talking about? You just like collecting stuff in games. Like I'm trying to think of an example from another game, but. Oh, I'll tell you I think something. Oh, I love those power-ups. I forget what those things are called. They're staples in the Kirby universe. But they just, they're just, you when you get that thing. Oh, one of my favorite things, the flying, like, wing things. I just love the really good gliding machines. Uh, those things, I can't think of what they're called from the Kirby universe. But when you find that power-up on the ground, you basically get three of them. And you just explode them everywhere. Hopefully this time we can get the hidden machine. And basically there's two hidden machines. And I'm, I think both can show up in one game. But I think the first one that shows up has to be collected first. So it's really rare to have two. I think I've done it once, but it was in like... Yeah, I, I've definitely done it once, but I think it was like me and my sister both playing at the same time. Apparently my sister liked playing this game too, so that was nice too. But, uh, I'm trying to think. It's One will randomly appear, and then you collect all the three pieces, and then the other ones, the pieces will start appearing in the boxes. But, basically one of them is a super like speed demon thing that goes insanely fast like if you get into a race game with that you won and the other one is like a super glider which is also pretty fast and the uh, also the speed one actually does pretty good at some of the gliding games and the gliding one does good at the speed games because they're like ridiculously overpowered but for good reason because it's really hard to collect all of them even though I did w pretty much my first time after playing a while if you don't know what you're doing they're really hard to collect is that a green or that's a green ah I want to get the magical machine. That's basically my major focus right now. And that's usually my major focus in games. Like, I'll be looking for the magical machine, but I'll always keep my eye out for blue boxes. Because if they get in my way, I'm just going to break them. Wow. And also, sometimes, like, negatives and positives will pop out. So you got to, like, steer correctly. Uh, just about this game. I just really love it. And give me a piece. Give me a piece. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. No. And let's go. There's also multiple ways to get to areas too. Can I get me in here? I'm trying to do that that thingy. This takes you to that underground area I showed in the last game. And no boxes up here. We still got four minutes, but uh, usually I would want to... Ah, he stole my heart, so I'm going to eat his soul. And I'm staying away from anyone as soon as I find a special piece. What are we going to have this time? A huge identify unidentified pillar. Okay, this event, I... Oh, yeah, cool, and it shows you where the event is, like, that. I think that's kind of cool that they help you with that, especially with this such open-world thing, and it shows on the mini-map, too. Basically, for this event, uh, it's exactly what it says. Uh, where are you? Oh, he's... This is the one that appears on top of the build. No, red block! Even though, usually, red blocks that disappear don't, uh, do that. I don't know much definites about this game, because it's just going off of what I think. Where's that huge... There he is! Hello! It, once you break these, uh... Tons of items pop out, but they're a pain in the ass to break and anyone can pick up the items. So, there's that. But I'm just gonna break it anyway, and I should probably be using the special spin. Ah, crap! <laughs> it's, it, I think the CPU doesn't know. If you saw him over there, he's just riding into the wall. I think he doesn't know. You have to go up to break the pillar. Great programming, Nintendo. He's just like, oh, oh did the pillar just... Well, okay, I just wasted all my time for nothing. He's just brought me into the wall. He's like, oh, my Where's the pillar? He thinks you can probably get into the building. He's like, where is it? I'm gonna get him. And red boxes. Come on. Okay, maybe I should just take a ride on the railroad and see if I spot any red boxes. Nope, that's green. Hey, there's a red box. I. It, that's gonna have a piece in it. I know. I know. I'm genius. I'm geniusity. Red box. No! I want your cheap quality movies. Red box. And it's just fire. Oh, oh, fire. Hell, I've always hated it! Come on, I want to get the secret machine for all those lovely fans, even though I have only, like, three minutes left, and I'd have to get supremely lucky. That's another thing about this game. You can, like... Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was the super power-up thingy. You can, like, turn a game around, or people could screw up and get lucky. So, it is... It's skill. It's got that perfect balance of, like, what Pokemon is. It's got that perfect balance of skill and luck, where you could still win... If you get into a terrible situation, but you gotta get lucky. I, I like games that aren't always definite get annoying, especially if you're on the losing side when you're clearly the better player. But when it has that just tiny bit about luck that, ooh, that looks like there's a box down there. And those boxes are almost 100% of the time pieces. And I'm just making up random fractions. 
And way red box. Hey, red box. Hey, piece of the other secret machine that we didn't see last time. Okay, we've got one and we've got two minutes. This is definitely doable. Get out of my face. Oh, no. I got to avoid them like the plague. Especially that guy. He's got a really bulky machine. I really don't like the bulky machines. I like moving around fast. But I just gotta make sure I don't lose a piece like last time. That's we would have had all of them together if it wasn't for that stupid losing a piece and another event. Hopefully, it'd be something helpful. Oh, you're kidding me! The only event that would really, really hurt me in trying to get the piece. I just hate this event, honestly. It it puts a giant thing of fog over the thing. It's like, oh hey, you want to find the secret machine? Hey, I'm a giant asshole. Thanks a lot, bro. Uh, let's see. Can we just get super lucky and find some red pieces somewhere? Now we can't just like scour over. Oh, at least we get the golden. I forget. These things are called golden somethings. And they're really dangerous to yourself. I drop the piece. Frack. Can you. Frack. Can you at least show me where I drop this piece so I can go in having one piece even though that doesn't mean anything? Thank God he stayed away from my piece. Uh, hopefully we're just gonna. Hopefully we're just gonna get lucky. No, we're not gonna get. Red piece. You suck. See, it's virtually impossible to get the machine now, unless my luck is, like, over 9,000, and, like, this is a magical piece. Ah, that's a sharp turn. Nope! No! Ah! Can there be- Oh, no, I don't want to pick that up. With this such- def cl I was gonna say define- Oh, crap. No, I- This sometimes getting the offensive things can be bad, because you have to do something with them. So I'm going to do that, and get the hell out of dodge. Ah! Thank you. Red? Red, no! Even though if it's fading away, it's probably not a piece. Ah, great. Oh, no, I can't get the secret machine for you guys. I'm actually really disappointed. I want to do that and show off my massive skills. I don't know, and that's helpful because... Oh, wait! Fly at the end! Look all epic! I wanted to show that to you guys, but apparently because you suck, we don't get to see anything. And I got... Because I spent a lot of the time uh, searching for the stuff, I have a lot less power-ups than these guys. So, it looks like I'm going to probably be screwed, especially because I'm more of a flying machine and these guys are all bulky. And I'm terrible at ra the races, too, so that's not going to help, too. Like, before we started, uh, I, d I was, I was like, waiting to become energized to do an episode. And uh, I did, like, two or three races, and I got completely destroyed. Hey, random thing, maybe this can help me. And I completely missed it. Those things basically give you random, uh, random power, which is nice and, uh, okay, cool. You can sometimes grind stuff like Rouse, be all second. I, I totally remember the game I want to do for the next save plays, and uh, that sucks that sometimes the, the, that, no, well, it's always, is the usability button is on the same button as the, uh, power up, like, yeah, usability button is the same button as the charge button, which is used to hit buttons like this and suck enemies up. So it gets quite annoying when you're trying to do uh, trying to do like a sharp turn or something and you end up uh, just wasting your ability or wasting your charge up like that. That's why the the link sword ability is really helpful. Oh, it's only one lap oh, and I already lost. Wow. What type of machine was that dude riding? That's ridiculous. Wop. Thank you. I'm terrible at racing and now there's confetti coming out of my machine. Oh, and I didn't want anything. Because it does that little ding sound after you unlock something, so you're all, I'm always just waiting. I'm like, uh, uh, and then no ding, and then I'm severely disappointed. Uh, let me check something real quick, sir or madam. So I ended up playing another game for it, but it was just really boring, so I cut it out for you guys so you don't have to watch it. I hope you enjoyed me playing Kirby Air Ride, and tomorrow we're hopefully going to have some randomizer crystal, and I really shouldn't say that because if people are watching this in the past, it really doesn't make sense, and also that it, it might com not come out, and then I'll feel really stupid. See you guys next time.